I'm back with another triggering topic. Now, this is part two of the series, Are Black Men Being Brainwashed to Dislike Black Women? This video is going to discuss how and why it's happening. Let's get into how first. We have a targeted attack against the black man and the young black man into not seeing the black family as the standard or the black woman as the standard of someone that they should want to be with. How do they do this? Advertisement, television, movies, music, and the media. But let's first take a look at some advertisements. Very big companies that aren't putting the focus on advertising black families, rather something else. And anytime you see an ad, you have to know that it was carefully thought out. Companies spend half a trillion dollars on advertising every year. No one invests that kind of money into something that has no value or benefit. Think about why they're using these images. But let's dig deeper. Now, I was watching this movie on Netflix called Hypnotic, and I found it strange that they only put two black men in the movie, and neither of them had black partners. And if black people are usually together, wouldn't you want to represent that in at least one of the characters' lives? Wouldn't that be true diversity? Here are more representations that lack the presence or diversity of black men and women moving functionally and being happy. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This narrative is pushed quite often in movies and television. And it seems to be a dirty secret that no one talks about publicly. But people definitely notice it. Looking at this screen grab of Bird Box, we had a world where black women didn't exist. But they managed to use a black man that gave his life and his protection to a non-black woman. Per the usual script, the black man always is his best self and is a shining protector to all women except the women that he came from. And if you look at this animated clip I was watching, you will see that animation is no exception to these tropes either. Now, if you look at this next clip for Amazon Prime's Invincible, I was shocked when I saw this. There was something going on and the black man stood up to protect his woman, a non-black woman, of course. All the while, there is a black woman standing there on her own and with the baby with no protection. And you've got Got to wonder why these stereotypes are in everything that we consume because there is a reason for it and it's not accidental and the majority of these black couples that are placed in the forefront of entertainment are always usually dysfunctional they make it that the black man can't be his true self succeed or even be loved correctly unless he looks for it outside of the black woman they say that black people, including our youth, are the heaviest TV watchers and the most likely to use television as a learning tool. Imagine growing up and being brainwashed unbeknownst to yourself as a young black man and seeing the only images of yourself offer love and protection only to non-black women while ignoring your own women. And the only images that you see of your own women are either unattractive mammies, promiscuous women that are only meant to be disrespected and never cherished, or sassy, borderline, evil black women that are mean and beat a man down into dust. Notice that these tropes are almost always reserved for black women. I would venture to say that at least 75% of the music marketed to the black man is meant to degrade the image of the black woman in his eyes. Take Chris Brown, who's one of the biggest R&B slash pop stars that we have at this time, saying that he only wants to, you know what, with the black B words with nice hair. There are so many layers to that problematic statement, but I'm not even going to get into it. Or the rappers that degrade black women in every single solitary way and say that we're only good for one thing and to love a woman is a negative and a man would be a simp if he did so. These things have an effect on us. Studies have been shown about how the things that we consume via entertainment have a direct correlation to how we think about ourselves and feel about ourselves and others. What do you think the effect of listening to music that has been degrading women since almost its birth is having on our young black men or the men that were now adults that were raised listening to it? Let's talk about the media. I think we all know that black women are represented poorly in the media. And now with the inception of social media and every misogynistic black man going to Best Buy to buy podcast mics, we're getting represented even worse now. And it's even reaching outside of the black community because you now have other races of men weaponizing tropes against black women using the same verbiage that they heard from certain black men. And even some of these young black men and even older black men are being force fed disinformation, hatred, false stats and out and out lies to foster the dislike and hatred of black women. And it's working. Take a look at this black woman's social media post. All of these things work together to provide a disdain, dislike, and hatred for black women. Do I think this affects every single solitary black man? 
No. But do I think it affects a lot of black men? Absolutely. And the impressionable young black men are at even more of a greater risk because they are exposed to so much. You can't tell me that if you're active on social media that you haven't seen the disdain and dislike that a lot of younger black men have towards young black women and black women in general. It's scary. But somehow they manage to have nothing but absolute love and adoration for their oppressors. Why is this happening? It's a targeted attack. That's why. Because when black people work together, think Black Wall Street, when we really work together as a unit and stay on code, we flourish. We succeed. And at times we even did better than them because there is nothing more powerful in our community than the black man and black woman united. But now we've integrated into their communities and they are in control. They control the narrative. They control the narrative of how the world sees black women and men. And they have managed to fracture and destroy the black family. And I'm not making excuses for anyone. And I'm definitely not making excuses for black men. All I'm saying is that this is an attack. Until we acknowledge it as such, or we keep acting like it's a conspiracy theory, it's going to continue, and the relationship between black men and black women will only get worse, especially the black youth. And the violence against black women will only increase due to the disdain and hatred that is being pushed. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below.